Today is Monday, June 10th, 2024. Alex Hull with $6,600 is going for an ultimate challenge worth $26,000. This is Gianni Pizzi, and this is Scott Egbert. Alex Hull, you are the champion. Gianni and Scott, you are the challengers. And now, here is the master of the challenge, Brandon Martin. Hi, hello, everyone. Hi, thank you. Oh, what a wonderful way to start off that Monday with a brand new work week and everything else. Thank you, Jason the Canyo. Welcome to the Challengers for that date, June the 10th. And as summer is getting really closer and closer to there, and then we're all getting ready to go for the episode of the Challengers. And with that being said, let's go ahead and introduce real quick with our champion. And also, before we do that... I want to clarify Mr. DeCanio's announcement, though. Actually, you're not there yet for the ultimate for the ultimate challenge. However, you're just two away, though, from the ultimate challenge on that one. So, just to clarify on that, on Jason Jason DeCanio's part. So, it's all good. Now we'll introduce our contestants. We start off. As mentioned, the returning champion, $6,600, Alex Hool. Oh. Yep. Good to have you back once again. And how do you feel going into your second day as champion? Well, feeling pretty good, uh was off to a, a slow start in the last uh, episode, but uh, but yeah, I'm ready to to do this again and, and have a great game here. All right, with that, and the, and your challengers in this one, and we first start off with Gianni Peasy, if that is a correct pronunciation. Yes, Peasy. Correct. I just just want to make sure with a. Uh, with Jason's thing, it's which it's all good. With that, uh, for the for those who don't know you, uh, tell a yeah. little bit. Tell us a little bit about yourself, real quick. That's right. Um, I'm 22 years old from Western New Jersey. I'm a college student studying music engineering. Um, big concert goer. Big fan of the fan uh, band called Fish. I've seen them about 20 times in concert so far. And some of the folks at home might. Recognize me from one of the tier masters on White Those Tears here on the Day of 3000 Network. Awesome to hear. And the other challenger in this one, uh, Scott Egbert, is here. So, uh, hey, Scott. Hey. Uh, <laughs> hey, Brandon. Good to have you here for the challengers. And can you also tell us a little about yourself, real quick? Uh, I'm Scott Everett. I'm 24 years old, and I came from Lakewood, Washington. And usually, usually during the summer, I go to New York to see my mom. But no, not this year. My mom's coming here. That's awesome to hear that, there, Scott. That is a plus. Yeah, uh, yeah. Usually, my dad would buy me tickets to uh, New York for the summer, but it's not this year. My mom's going to be busy here. Visiting here in Washington say she hasn't been in Washington for a while, for a long while after she moved. Yeah, I mean, that, what a way to enjoy your summer with being with your mom, you know, being to have her back in Washington State, which you're going to have a great, you're going to have an awesome Yeah, but, but, it, but, but it's only for a week because, you know, yeah, usually... But so I've been spending summer here, my home state is in New York, and also my mom bought me two tickets to to see Mariners in two two days. Wow, that is amazing. August third and August tenth. Uh, my mom's leaving there, leaving leaving New York on August eleventh. All right. 
Hopefully you have a great time being at the Mariners game for sure for August 3rd and the 10th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with that, and this is our, the we start off with our challenger sprint. So basically, all of you guys will receive two hundred dollars to start this off, and it will be uh, sixty seconds. That sec is the sixty second round. So basically, questions are worth a hundred dollars. However, you may interrupt the question if you want to. But you must immediately have an answer being up upon being called. Hesitation more than a second ruled an incorrect answer. Speaking of incorrect answer, you'll be deducted a hundred, and and everyone has a chance for that same question. If no one basically gets it correct or nothing at all, we move on. Just move on the question. And basically, the player who has the most money will get to play to start off with our first round of categories in this one. However, if there is a tie, the player who gives the most recent correct answer is selecting first. But if there is a question be before time runs out, we'll still give you the question. And who, the player who buzzes in first gets it right. Gets the correct answer again. Gets it getting control of the categories for that first round. So, with that being said, we have one minute on the clock. Try to go as many questions as we possibly can for this one. And if you are ready, and also buzz. Type in buzz in the game room chat to be more clear. So basically just just type in buzz and we'll call on you. If you get it wrong, the other players have a chance to get the 100. If nothing, no guesses on that one, then we'll just move on for a different question. All right. With that, we, have, we get one minute on the clock. And that time starts now. A British variety is called Bangers, a Mexican variety, Chorizo. Gianni. Sausage. Correct. Two Saturday Night alumni who tried trading places. And that's time. A 1920s hunting trip to Canada inspired bird's eye view food preserving method. That is time. When husbands pop for an ermine coat, they're actually buying this fur. And time on that one. He may never say never again when asked to be bond. And that is going to be time on that. We'll just go over the the ones you missed out on. So basically two Saturday Night alumni who tried trading places. They are Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy. Ah. And a 1920s hunting trip to Canada inspired bird's eyes food preserving method freezing we were looking for. Ah. And when husbands pop for an ermine coat they're actually buying this fur which is the one we're looking for was a weasel. Mm. And then he may ne never say never again when asked to be Bond. Sean Connery. Sean Connery we're looking for. Uh, Sean, Connery, uh, Sean Connery James Bond. Yep. Yeah. But right now Gianni has... 300 and he gets the chance to get in control of the categories and Speaking of categories, let's go ahead and show the first round and they are It happened in San Francisco the comics telling tales out of school TV before and after 
Game Show Biz and Notorious. And Gianni, since you're in the lead, go ahead and pick a category. Start with the comics. The comics, all right. We start off with Dan Ferraro for 150, Aaron McGruder for 200, and Jim Unger for 250. Go ahead and lock in your question and wager. Doubled. We, you guys are playing for three hundred dollars. So with that, hands on your buzzers, and your question under Dan Peraro for a three hundred dollars. Weirdo would be another name for this Dan Peraro comic that began as a replacement for the Far Side. And Alex? Bizarro. Bizarro is correct. And you do have an option to keep going in this one. But again, I must caution you. If you get it wrong within one of those uh, questions, we will deduct that value. So what do you want to do, Alex? Uh, let's try Aaron McGruder. Aaron McGruder, okay. And with that, though, I will go ahead and get the uh, question on this one, and you'll get a picture on the gaming room chat right now. The TV show seen here is based on this edgy Aaron McGruder comic strip. No, Scott, it's me. Uh, is it the Boondocks? The Boondocks is correct. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. But yeah, it's just for Alex in this one since every you guys picked. That same question under Dan Peraro. So Alex had the opportunity. He got it correct as mentioned earlier. So basically he has the opportunity to keep going or not. So that's basically he chose to keep going with Aaron Magruder. And with that he got it correct for Boondocks. So that's $900. Do you want to go for Jim Unger for $500 or you want to stop right there? <sighs> Oh, what the heck? Let's go for it. All right, here it. we go. To clear the board for this, we're going to send you another picture and in the game room chat. For under Jim Unger for $500. Creator Jim Unger joked that the syndication of this panel in East Germany brought down the Berlin Wall. Is it Herman? Correct. <laughs> and you sweep it, sweep the category on that one. Well done. All right. We'll clear that. And Alex, since you're in control, go ahead and pick a category. Uh, let's try TV before and after. TV before and after, okay. And we have Jack Bauer for 150. 
David Caruso for 200 and Gordon Ramsay 250. Go ahead and lock in a question in the wager. So now you guys are playing for $500 in this one. And the question under Gordon Ramsay goes as this. And buzz in if you know it. Watch as Chef Gordon Ramsay use a few choice words on President Andrew Jackson's unofficial advisors. And that's going to be time. Hell's Kitchen Cabinet. Hell's Kitchen Cabinet. Remember? Hell's uh, Kitchen uh, Cabinet. Ah! Yeah. But it's okay. Uh, I knew it was Hell's Kitchen, but I don't know the other part. Yeah. But it's okay. And Alex, since you're still in control, go ahead and pick another category. Uh, let's try the game show biz. The game show biz, okay. We have Monty Hall for 150, Burt Reynolds and Burt Convy for 200, and Bud Collier for 250. Go ahead and place a question in the wager. Okay, two of you going for the Bud Collier question. Both Gianni and Alex stand by for that. And Scott, your question under, under Money Hall for $150. Three enticing doors were your final choices as you traded up for better prizes on this Monty Hall show. It's let's make a deal. Let's make a deal is correct. You're up to $350. All right, both Gianni and Alex step up to the challenge. Both of you chose Bud Collier for $250. And your question under Bud Collier. Neil Simon wrote and James Dean tested stunts for this timely game show hosted by Bud Collier. And I saw Gianni first. Gianni. Beat the clock. Beat the clock is correct. You got it. And with that, since you got the last question correct, you have three categories left, then go ahead and pick one. Some telling tales out of school. Telling tales out of school. Okay. We have James Hilton for 150, Muriel Spark for 200. And F. Scott Fitzgerald for 250. Go ahead and place a question and the wager. Doubled, which you guys are playing for five hundred dollars. All right, your question under F. Scott Fitzgerald. Buzz in if you know this one. Amori Blaine, a student at press at Princeton is the protagonist of this first novel published by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Uh, 
All right, see Scott first. Is that the Great Gatsby? Mm, no, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. All right, and anybody else? And whoop, I saw somebody typing. See who gets it first. All right. That is going to be time. Actually, we're looking for is this side of paradise. This side of paradise we're looking for. Okay. Uh, uh the only official no, official book I think you know was Great Gatsby. All right. Since uh, Gianni, you're still in control from the last one. Go ahead and pick one of the two remaining categories. Okay. How about happened in San Francisco? It happened in San Francisco. Okay. We have Charles Hall for 150. The Beatles 200. And Milo Farnsworth for 250. Go ahead and place the category and the wager. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Everybody's going for the Beatles. Again, the money value is now doubled, and you guys are now playing for $400. All right. So, everybody, get your buzzers ready to go. And your question under the Beatles. The Beatles played their last formal concert on, of course, a wild and windy night at this venue. Uh, Ooh, oh. Alex? Abbey Road. Mm, no, unfortunately, that's incorrect. Ah. So you'll lose four hundred, either Gianni or Scott, for opportunity to guess or. Where is your friend? And that'll be time. Candlestick Park, we were looking for. Uh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, the uh, oh the old venue of the 49ers. Yep, that's right. All right, Gianni, you already know what you're gonna go with. Probably oh, no, notorious. Notorious. Okay. Not, not, <laughs> notorious. Anyways, we have Pearl Hart and Joe Boot for 150, Frank Hammer for 200, and Bugs Moran for 250. Go ahead and place a wager in the question. Uh. Okay. All right, two of you going for the Pearl Heart and Joe Boot for 150, while one picked the Bugs Moran. Alex, stand by for that question, and both Gianni and Scott step up to the challenge under Pearl Heart and Joe Boot. On May 30th, 1899, Pearl Hart and Joe Boot became the last to rob one of these vehicles. They got away with $431.
and that is going to be time. A stagecoach. A stagecoach we were looking for. Uh, yeah, look, a uh, stagecoach. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, Alex, go ahead and step up to the challenge for Bugs Moran for $250. It was no holiday for six of Bugs Moran's mob when they were cut down in this 1929 gangland slaughter. Is it Valentine's Day? Be more specific on that. Oh, uh... Valentine's Day Massacre. There you go. Yes, that is the correct answer. We're right, so now up to $1,250. And with that being said, that's the end of round number one. As Alex with $1,250, Gianni $550, Scott in the hole with $150. We'll go ahead and take our first commercial break. And when we come back, we'll be playing round number two of the Challengers. So stay with us, won't you? All right, back on the Challengers. So far, Alex will $1,250, Gianni $550, Scott in the hole with $150. So hopefully, Scott, you can get out of this, out of the hole, since you, it's going to be some, as this time, the questions now doubles this one up to, we'll double that amount as we'll do that. As we'll go and reveal the next six categories that's going to be shown right now. They are Everyday Science, Country Music, They Own That, Movie Characters, Bunny, and JP. Since uh, Alex, you're still leading in this one, go ahead and pick a category. Okay, uh, let's start with movie characters. Movie characters, okay. We have Smoggle for 300, Dylan Sanders 400, and Dan Evans 500. Go ahead and place a question and the wager. Since everything is doubled. Hmm. Doubled, and you guys are going to be playing for six hundred dollars. So everybody, buzz buzz in on this question on Smig Smiggle, also known as Smiggle. This character tries to steal the ring from Sam and Frodo. And that that's going to be time. Going to be, it's Gollum. Gollum we were looking for. Uh, was that something Lord of the Rings like? Yeah, something, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's all right. So we'll go ahead and clear that. And Alex, you're still in control. We'll pick another category. Let's try Bunny. The Bunny, okay. We have a wall of hair for 300, Ray Anthony 400, and Bambi 500. Go ahead and place the question and the wager.
That was kind of my bad. Well, uh, 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 I was going to use the same one. Oh, you're going to use the same one? Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Everybody's going to dance. Why not? All right. Now the double val the value is now doubled once again. You guys are now playing for one thousand dollars. So Scott, it can help you for this if you get the correct answer. All right, everybody, hands on buzzers. Your question under Bambi. He was Bambi's bunny buddy on the big screen. God. That's Scott. Uh, I know I am a Disney member. Thumper! Thumper is correct. So you are finally out of the hole now. In second place, $850. And you do have the option to keep going in this one. But I must caution you, Scott. If you get the incorrect answer... You'll lose that money value. Or you can stop right there if you want. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just going to stop here. Okay, that's fun. And since you, yeah, I was looking at the, since you got that, I was looking at the other categories. I was like, yeah, no. I don't blame you one bit. Anyways, uh, Scott, since you got the last question, you four remaining categories. Go ahead and pick one. Hmm. I found country music. Country music. Okay. <laughs> And we have Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson, 300. Miley Cyrus, 400. And Taylor Swift, 500. Go ahead and place a question and the wager. Oh, everybody going around there. Well. Everybody's going for a different yep. question in this one. This go around. All right, here we go. We'll start off with you, Gianni, under Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson for three hundred dollars. And in a nineteen seventies hit, Waylon and Willie urge, and quote. Mamas don't let your babies grow up to be these. <laughs> on the road. You say on the road? Mm. Nope. That's incorrect. Just for fun. Yeah. Does anybody know what that is? Uh, um, daddies? No. I have no idea. Actually, it's cowboys. Cowboys! Oh. Yeah, you got a cowboy. Yep, cowboys was be needed. Alright, so you lose that, you lose 300 out of that one, down to 250. Alright, Alex stepped up to the challenge under Miley Cyrus. Daughter Miley duetted with him on a record hit, Ready, Set, Don't Go. You cut out, I couldn't hear. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll repeat the question one for you again. <laughs> okay, Daughter Miley duetted with him on a record hit, Ready, Set, Don't Go. Is it Billy Ray? Yes, Billy Ray Cyrus is the correct answer. You're now yeah. at 1650. 
And as for you, Scott, step up to the challenge. The question under Taylor Swift for $500. At 16, Taylor Swift shot to fame with a 2006 hit named for this country superstar. Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw is correct. You're now at the first all right, really close game so far in this one. So, Scott, since you got the last question correct, three main categories remain on this one. Go ahead and pick. Hmm. Wait a minute. They own that? <laughs> well, hmm. let's go ahead and uh, get this one. We have Cheerios for 300. Old Navy, 400, and Orida for 500. Go ahead and pick a question and the, ca and the wager. Okay. All right, two of you going for the Cheerios while one goes for the Orida. So Alex, stand by as both Gianni and Scott step up to the challenge. Your question under Cheerios. Cheer is owned by Procter and Gamble. Cheerios is owned by this company. That's Scott. Scott. Kellogg? No, I'm oh. sorry. That's incorrect. I oh, know it. Gianni, do Where you I know it? General Mills? General Mills is correct. Yeah, General Mills. So you got your 300 bet, Gianni. Yep, there you go. Up to 550. I Alex? sure know what General Mills. Uh, yeah. What did I say, Kellogg? Yeah, you were thinking of the wrong brand on that one, unfortunately. Yeah, um... Anyways, Alex, step up to the challenge. Question on Orida. All right. Orida is one of its many varieties. French fries. Oh, no, no, no. That's wrong. What if I would have said 57 varieties? Oh, Heinz. Yep, Heinz was the correct one. Uh, I was least. thinking of the obvious answer, but oh my gosh. Anyways, you lose 500 on that one, so down 1150. With that, uh, Gianni got the question correct on this one, so with that, go ahead and pick one of the remaining two categories left. Everyday signs. Everyday signs. Okay. We have Domino's for 300, Crutches 400, Slinky 500. Go ahead and pick a question and the wager. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, the Domino thing is not very pizza. But... We need your decision. Okay. All right. <laughs> so this time doubles up to $600. So everybody hands on your buzzers and here is the question under Domino's. Once Domino's start to fall, they continue without further outside influence an example of this self-sustaining sequence.
And that's going to be time. I can fit to them doing it. A chain reaction we're looking for. A chain reaction. Yeah, a chain reaction. Chain reaction, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, Gianni, you already know you're going to pick this last category. That's right. We'll go with JP. Okay. JP it is. JP. We have Survivor 300, Led Zeppelin 400, and City Slickers 2 for 500. Go ahead and pick a question and the wager. But this time, you guys are now playing for $800. And with that, hands on your buzzers. Your question under Led Zeppelin. He put together a band that was initially called the New Yardbirds. The band later got Gianni. a new name. Oh, it's Gianni. Jimmy Page. Jimmy Page is correct. We're now up to 1550 and the lead. And you do have the option to keep going in this one if you want to. But again, I must I caution. think yes. I will go. go ahead. I'm going to go for Survivor. Survivor. Okay. That is for $600. Your question under Survivor. Before Survivor, he traveled more than 300,000 miles as an Access Hollywood correspondent. Jeff Probst. Jeff Probst is correct. You're up to 1950. Do you want to go all the way or do you want to stop? I think I'm going to stop. Okay, that's fine. All right. We'll go ahead and clear that. So far at the end of the second round, Gianni has 1950. Alex, 1150, and Scott, 1050. And everybody's in the positives, and we are now get to play the final challenge. So, your final challenge category is... Kenny. So... Basically, for this one, you can bet even on Kenny Rogers. So basically, that's the easier question. You could double your value on Kenny Baker. So that's a medium question. Or you can actually triple your winnings in this one on Ken Howard. That will be the hardest question. And before you decide to wager, I'll give you guys 15 seconds to think of the question and your wager. And that starts now. Scott, we start with you. You have a thousand fifty. What was your wager, and which uh, question do you go for? Okay. I'm just saying. What, how how much did you wager, Scott? Oh, okay. How much of your ten fifty? I got a thousand. 
Okay, gonna go a thousand on that. So basically, that is gonna be for that. All right. So thousand on even. All right, Alex, you have eleven fifty. How much of that eleven fifty do you want to wager, and which uh, question you go for? I also picked Kenny Rogers, but I only put nine hundred. Ooh, okay. And Gianni, you have nineteen fifty. I went. Go ahead. I went for Kenny Rogers, but I went for fifteen hundred. Ooh, okay. All right. So basically, fifteen hundred on uh, Kenny Rogers. So with that, both Alex and Scott have been outbid by Gianni. So here we go. Gianni, if you get it correct, that is $3,450. You become the new champion. If not, Alex has the opportunity to get it. But this comes down to this. Kenny Rogers followed up his TV movie, The, the Gambler. With the TV movie, this person of the county. Can you say that one more time? Yes, I will do that, certainly. Kenny Rogers followed up his TV movie, The Gambler, with the TV movie, this person of the county. Kenny Loggins? Oh no, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You dropped to 450. Well, Scott, you have a thousand since you outbid Alex. You have the op since you have the option in this one. Same question as mentioned. You get it correct. That is going to be twenty. That's two thousand fifty dollars. And Alex has the opportunity. To get it correct in this one. If you don't, Alex will win. Again, uh, same question uh, as for as as I mentioned to Gianni. Kenny uh, Rogers followed up his TV movie, The Gambler. With the TV movie, this person of the county. Ugh. I didn't watch any of the Kenny Rogers movies. Oh. Sorry. Ah, uh, well, no guess on that one, but does cost you a thousand. And Alex, you have remained champion. Well, well, I know it didn't matter, but I know what the answer was. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Gianni and Scott, you're going to hate yourself. Coward. Yep. Coward? That's what it yep. is. Oh, mm, coward. Mm. 
Yeah. Cower the the cower the. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't watch any Kenny Rogers movies. Well, with that, just... Alex, you did it. You remain champion. You got yourself eleven hundred fifty dollars. And then we add on to the $6,600 that you won previously. You are just one win away from the ultimate challenge. And you got a two-game winnings total in this one. $7,750. And you get to come back next time for... Two more challengers. And with that being said, we're out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching Season 1, Episode 2 of The Challengers. If you like this, please go and give this a thumbs up. And please like this video. Leave a comment. And if you're brand new to the David 3000 Network, make sure to subscribe. And also do not forget to tap that notification bell. Under the David 3000 Network on your YouTube app, so you'll never miss an upload of the live stream. And since Alex won way from the Ultimate Challenge, can he do it? But you're going to have to wait and find out next time on The Challengers. Take care. Bye for now. Some of our contestants will receive the Omega Juicer is one of the most efficient juicers on the market. This juicer is made in the U.S. and carries a 10-year warranty. Start juicing fruits and vegetables now for a healthy way of living. And Samsung's 8mm camcorder features a power zoom lens and full 3-inch color monitor and easily frames, zooms, and plays back video recordings from Samsung. A radio and a subscription to Sirius XM Satellite Radio with more than 165 channels of music, sports, talk, entertainment, and more that you can take virtually anywhere. Beyond AM, Beyond FM, Sirius XM Satellite Radio. And enjoy the luxury of a spa right at home. EssentialBubbles.com has a full line of handmade bath and bubble body products. Aromatherapy in the palm of your hand online at EssentialBubbles.com. ITOP is the only truly portable multimedia screen, so small that it's integrated on the side of a cool pair of sunglasses. Watch a video or TV anywhere, anytime, privately and securely. Visit ITOP.com. And Tough Stuff's CEFM 555 Gym. Efficient space saving, it fits the needs of every home gym. A step ahead in design, quality, value, and performance from Tough Stuff. This is Jason DeCanio speaking for the Challengers, a David 3000 Network production.